Cooking for one with Katie. Me. Don't be I wish to have someone to do a wishbone with. Welcome to Cooking for One with Katie. This is Liz. Hi, Liz. Hey. How are you today? I'm good. Good. Um, I supposedly just came from yoga. Namaste. Namaste. I'm going to make butternut squash soup. Sure. Like, you can't really mess up soup. It's kind of like a salad. Yeah, you can't you mess can, up soup. You can add whatever you want to it and add some salt. Well, I, there is a way to mess up both soup and salad, and that is to not add meat to it. <laughs> oh! It's true. Liz, I uh, it's true. Oops, put my foot in my mouth. Liz is a vegetarian. I I'm know. just kidding. Oh. I'm here to represent. I thought that this was appropriate for your show because it's one of everything. Oh, cooking for one. So we have one butternut squash, one clove of garlic, one full onion. Well, yogurt. This is plain, and we'll get to that later. One spice. There's only one spice in the whole oh. soup. Okay. I'm going to say one can of vegetable broth. They're all there. So those are your basic ingredients. That's, that's all we need. That's all you need. And one, 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 one. And then if you want to add to make it more dramatic. Small olive oil. Small olive oil. It's beautiful. Cooking for one. I also cook for one. Single. And <laughs> you're just gonna peel it. Even though like it's that. like pretty tough. Oh, it's not bad. While you're peeling the squash, you can actually start on step one of the cooking process, which is sauteing the onions and garlic. Be sure cook one. These are pre-chopped frozen <laughs> onions. Shortcut two is instead of Instead of mincing the garlic, you can also get that pre-chopped. I just kind of added what I thought would be about an onion and about a clove of garlic. You can't mess it up. It'll just kind of alter your flavor. To um, some olive oil in a pan and put it on a medium-high heat. Have you ever thought about changing it to like cooking for two? Like, yeah, I've thought about it, but how do, I mean, well, it's kind I've of thought like, about getting married too. Kind of like a if you build it, he will come, kind of a thing. Well, if you notice, I always do have a guest, so it ends up being cooking for two. Okay. But... Well, I'm just saying, you know, like, you hope to be cooking for two, so you're, like, preparing yourself. I'm... So that's a good I'm thought. I'm thinking of sending it out to the universe that I'm ready to cook for Secret. two. Secret. So, just think of it like you're cutting potatoes um, for mashed potatoes, where you just want to get them into chunk size so they can cook faster. So I'm just going to dump it in like that. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a bunch of different spices mixed together. Oh, interesting. Um, so we're going to just take a half teaspoon and kind of sprinkle it on at this stage while it is sauteing with the onions and garlic. Now that you've kind of sauteed the squash a little bit and got it covered in the flavor of the garlic and the onions and the allspice, now we're going to just cover it in broth and then we're just going to let it simmer until the squash is soft. I'm going to add the one can of vegetable broth to our soup, to our squash and onions and garlic and olive oil and allspice. And you just Keep at it until it is become soft. So you can tell it's ready because when you test the squash, it just breaks really easily. And it smells amazing. And the first step to making it feel creamy, and you can do this with any kind of vegetable soup, is just put it in the blender so it kind of is a puree. It's smooth. Yeah, perfect. It looks like a baby's diaper. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to just like put a dollop on, and you can make it pretty. You can make it pretty. Watch this. You can go like this. That is pretty. Mm. Mm. That is really good. That's good, huh? Oh, and then the, you can totally have the tart and the, wow. Sweet. It balances it out. 